Now, if you're a person whose business relies on WhatsApp for customer communication, then it can be quite confusing to learn about the different types of WhatsApp and which WhatsApp is the best fit for you. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to be talking about the differences between WhatsApp, WhatsApp business and the WhatsApp business API. So let's get right into it. By the way, please don't forget to subscribe. You've seen a lot of people that watch our channel are not actually subscribed. So please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. WhatsApp is your regular free to use instant messaging app. Simply downloaded from the play store or app store and is mainly used for conversations with friends and family there's no limit to the number of conversations you can have on whatsapp and there are no restrictions on the content you can create various groups of people and even broadcast your messages to a large number of people but in terms of actually setting up a business whatsapp is really lacking which is why we turn to WhatsApp's more professional offerings, WhatsApp Business and the WhatsApp Business API. Here we're going to talk about the differences between using the WhatsApp Business app and the WhatsApp Business API. First off, WhatsApp Business, just like the WhatsApp app, is free to download. WhatsApp Business is an app normally used by smaller business owners to run their day-to-day -day activities, whereas the WhatsApp Business API is an offering by WhatsApp for more larger, more established business. WhatsApp Business API is used by large companies such as Flipkart and Make My Trip. Whenever you make a booking or place an order on these apps, the updates that you get on WhatsApp are all sent out using the WhatsApp Business API. This differs from companies that use WhatsApp Business, as with WhatsApp Business, you just get simple greeting messages and so on. WhatsApp Business, like the WhatsApp app, is free, whereas the WhatsApp Business API is not. Pricing for the API is based on two categories, User Initiated and Business Initiated. WhatsApp Business requires just a simple download and only phone verification. Whereas in order to use the WhatsApp Business API, you need to submit an application for verification in order to use it. To use the WhatsApp Business API, you have to use a third-party platform or a business solution provider like Wati, which we will be talking about later. Now with WhatsApp Business, you can message anyone at any time, just like the regular WhatsApp. But in the WhatsApp Business API, messaging with a customer is unlimited within the first 24 hours, after which only templated messages that have been approved by WhatsApp are allowed. One key difference is that WhatsApp Business has limited sessions, that is one session per device and it is allowed up to four devices, whereas the WhatsApp Business API has unlimited sessions. While WhatsApp Business usually has manual conversations between you and the customers, through the WhatsApp Business API, the conversations are mostly automated with no code chatbots that you can create. On WhatsApp Business, there is no restriction on transactional or promotional content, but in the WhatsApp Business API, there are some restrictions on content and in terms of promotion, only opted in promotional content is allowed. That is the customers have to opt in to this content. WhatsApp business has no built-in integrations, but with the WhatsApp business API, you can access multiple integrations through the business solution provider or the third party app. The WhatsApp business API provides detailed access to customer behavioral info, which you can use to promote your products better, but this feature is not available in WhatsApp business. Another key difference is while WhatsApp Business provides some message statistics, it is the WhatsApp Business API that supplies the user with extensive analytical statistics. The WhatsApp Business app does have a number of impressive features, such as being able to add your website URL to your profile, setting up your various business details so your customers know more about your business, creating short links that you can share with your customers which will direct them to your profile, quick replies, and greeting and away messages. Speaking about WhatsApp business, a tool that is super helpful is WhatsForm. WhatsForm allows you to collect information from your customers through WhatsApp business using forms and the link to the WhatsForm form can be added to your business's greeting message. So those are the differences between WhatsApp business and the WhatsApp business API. Now, like we mentioned earlier, in order to use the WhatsApp business API, you need a third party platform or business solution provider. And one such business solution provider is Wati or the WhatsApp team inbox. The Wati dashboard gives us access to the various features of the WhatsApp business API. The main tabs here are the team inbox, contacts, broadcast and automation. The team inbox showcases the incoming customer messages, which you can read and reply to. Also here in the broadcast tab, you have template messages, which you can edit and save. These template messages need to be approved before you can use them. You can build your own no-code chatbot to suit your business's needs. Also in the Wati platform, you have dashboard analytics, which gives you tons of details about how your business is going. So there you have it. Those are the differences between WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business and the WhatsApp Business API. We also spoke a bit about the Wati platform through which you can access the WhatsApp Business API. So thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned something here today. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like. If you have any topics that you would like us to cover in the future, please leave them down in the comments below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.